We return to Las Vegas on Saturday night as the UFC returns to the Apex for the 10th straight event before moving to Florida next week. In the main event, former middleweight champion Robert Whitaker puts his number one contender status on the line once more as he squares off against Kelvin Gastelum. In the co-main event, Jeremy Stevens returns to lightweight having no win in five bouts at 145. Steven takes on Drakkar close in a fight to save his UFC career. This is UFC Vegas 24 Behind the Tape, where we bring you stats from behind the tail of the tape. In this episode, we bring you 10 things you should know before UFC Vegas 24, Whitaker vs. Gastelum. Before we get to the good stuff, make sure you subscribe below for 5 plus original content videos per week, made by the fans, for the fans. Also ring that bell so you don't miss a single one. Tough the Smashes winner Robert Whitaker and Season 17 winner Kelvin Gastelum will meet in a battle of former Ultimate Fighter champions. It will be the 22nd time tough winners have gone to war since the show debuted in 2005. It's not a first for either fighter, with Gastelum famously knocking out Season 3 winner Michael Bisping, while Whitaker finished Series 16 winner Colton Smith at UFC 160. Former middleweight King Whitaker has a record that no UFC champion should carry. He has never beaten a UFC champion at any point of his career. He is one of just seven UFC champions alongside Carlos Condit, Nico Montagna, Sean Shirk, Henan Burrow, Davison Figueredo and Pat Militich that have never bested a fellow UFC champion. Numerous records can be attributed to the veteran fighter Jeremy Stevens. Who the fuck is that guy? Little Heaton famously has the most losses in UFC history. With 33 fights in the UFC, Stevens has yet to record a submission victory, the longest ever streak of its kind, not helped by his willingness to go to war on the feet. He surpassed Michael Bisping, 29 fights without a sub, in 2019, who initially held the record. This is a streak that may just last forever. Like Stevens, Andrei Arlovsky can lay claim to numerous UFC records. The Belarusian made his debut in November of 2000 at UFC 28 and is still going strong 21 years later. He once upon a time had a record that seemed unbreakable. A 15 second KO of Paul Guantello saw him have the quickest knockout in a UFC title fight. A record that stood for 10 years before Conor McGregor claimed a 13 second win that now lives in infamy. Moldova's Alexander Romanov made his UFC debut in September 2020 and already sits in sixth place for most submission wins in UFC heavyweight history. Two fights, an arm triangle and a forearm choke ensure only five fighters sit above him on the heavyweight subs list. Frank Mir has eight, Stefan Struve and Alexei Olenek have six each, Fabricio Verdun and Gonzaga four each. Romanov's opponent, Juan Espino, took part in the last series of The Ultimate Fighter in 2018 at 38 years young. At 2-0 in the UFC, Espino has to be categorized as a heavyweight prospect, despite being the third oldest heavyweight on the roster at 40. He sits behind seasoned vets Alexei Olenek at 43 and Andrei Olovsky at 42. Of the near 700 fighters on the roster, there is just 16 40 years or older, with Matt Brown and Espino being the latest entries to the over 40s club. Despite not being a household name, Drakkar Close has created one of the most popular images in recent MMA history. His war with Benil Dariush at UFC 248 sparked wild scenes when Dariush came back from the brink to knock out close. Those watching in attendance could not contain themselves and the world was left with a meme that will live forever. Cross promotion is a hot topic in the MMA world at the moment. Bartosz Fabinski is more familiar with this than most. With COVID putting a stop to UFC London in 2020, the fighters were left without a stage to perform on. All but two, that is, as Fabinski and Darren Stewart would headline a behind-closed-doors event for Cage Warriors the same weekend. 
It had been seven years, Ed Herman versus Jack Array at the final Strike Force event since a UFC contracted fighter appeared for another promotion. Gerald Merkshart looks to rebound from a 16 second loss to Hamzad Kaimev against Fabitsky. Merkshart has compiled five submission wins in his last 12 UFC starts, the most in UFC history at the 185 pound weight limit, alongside Damian Maya, Usman Palares, Talis Leitas, and Antonio Carlos Jr. The Brazilian contingent are either no longer in the UFC or no longer competing at this weight division leaving Mirchart as the current premier submission specialist at middleweight. Abdul Razak al Azam is one of the most exciting and heavy-handed fighters in the UFC right now. No fighter on the current roster with a minimum of five fights comes near his knockdown frequency. He drops his opponent on average 2.24 times per 15 minutes. That puts him ahead of famed strikers Johnny Walker, Conor McGregor, and Cody Garbrandt as the most efficient knockdown artist in the UFC. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your fellow fight fans. In the meantime, check out our other content relating to UFC Vegas 24.